and the Grammy goes too. Easter at Transformation Church, nothing like it. Absolutely. Ransom. What's new? He's back at it again. And this right here is self explanatory. Let's make the most of the night like we're going to die. What you need to do. Step one, that you a baddie. Okay. okay. But step, step two, she got to have a fatty. Hey. <laughs> Take <laughs> some eggs. Yeah. Look back at it. Uh oh. What is, what is she doing? Friends, I don't have a fatty. Girl, Girl we keep telling you it's okay. Your little booty matter too, friend. Y'all oh, know they don't be discriminating. <laughs> Real quick. If people re will really look at what's going on, he is acting out what's trapped inside of him and undealt with. It's starting to happen at a reoccurring theme. His heart is being exposed right before our eyes. He's going down a road that is dangerous, detrimental, and also could be destructive if he don't turn. Because since he want to draw people, check this out, he wants to draw people with entertainment then you will have to constantly come up with gimmicks and ideas to keep those people because that's how they were brought in i was talking to one of my partners today and i told him this <clears throat> think about think about alcohol alcohol that is drunk straight is potent by itself Alcohol that is mixed is diluted. You drink alcohol that is diluted, you end up, or that is mixed with another sweet drink that is masking the potency of the drink. By him doing what he's doing, he's masking the potency or diluting the gospel, which is no gospel at all. He's coming up with all these propagandas and props and ideas of how he should draw people in. And he said something important. He said, when I became a pastor, I did not know how to pastor. Um, I became the pastor and I didn't know what a pastor did. So where was the grooming process? Because you have eloquence of speech or you are able to articulate and and put words together and you're charismatic and you have a attraction that brings people in doesn't mean you should have a flock because the thing the crazy part is you might be called but that doesn't mean you called today. That doesn't mean you are called to have a congregation full of people. Many are called, few are chosen. The chosen ones will begin to use wisdom and will begin to take a step back and not bring in worldly acrobatics to entertain and tickle the fancies of, of people. But my personal thought is this, and it is biblical. The Bible says people will heap upon themselves. People will heap upon themselves, teachers, having itching ears. It would tickle the ears. So it's the people who are heaping up on themselves teachers like this. If I was him, I would take a serious 
look at what I'm doing. Because this is nothing new. We've seen this same story before. We've seen men before him come with the same gimmicks, come with the same plots, plans, and schemes, and they end up back at square one every time because this doesn't work. This doesn't keep the people long. You tickle their fancies, and they go on to find another person to tickle their fantasies. And I'm going to leave you with this. You will never please pleasure because pleasure was never meant to be satisfied. You will never please pleasure because pleasure was never meant to be satisfied. Y'all know what this is. The wheelhouse, please.